Okay. All right. Today's April 22nd. I'm going to try to be quick with this because I need to get out of the truck because I'm running just a few minutes late, but we're good. It's tough. It's tough making it on time on these days that you got to work. And this head cold's whooping me. I've had this head cold for about five or six days at least now, so. But we're going to dive off in here to a spot where I've been hearing a bird, so hopefully, I'm hoping he's still in that type of mood this morning. He gobbled yesterday morning and the day before, but both days, I just, I was just a little bit behind him. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't get to him quick enough to, uh, to even try to, you know, do anything with him. He's one of those that he only gobbled while he was in the tree so many times and then he flew down and then he, that was it. So, so hopefully we can get in here and he's gobbling and we can get close to him and we'll see what we can do with him. We'll see y'all at daylight. <laughs>
mean, I might, I'm probably, I'm probably a hundred, not more than 150 yards from him. I gave him, I mean, just a few little bitty soft yelps. on the ground. He's on top of the hill.
see if it gobbles.
to get out of there before I started talking to the camera because wherever he's at, he ain't far. And he ain't spooked. I don't know what happened with him, but he um man. This head cold is whooping me, y'all. Golly, man. I don't know, he man, I'm tired. This head cold makes me tired. Anyway, the turkey. I, he did exactly the opposite of what I thought he was going to do. This whole time, because I got on him. He was in there yesterday, and he was in there today. Or the last two mornings and this morning, he's been in there. The last two mornings, I know he hasn't went. When I was when we were sitting there and he was on the roost, I'm figuring he's going left or he's going to kind of drift left or fly down left. And uh, but that ain't what he did. He went right. I probably got 150 yards on him on the roost. I yeah, I may have could have got in there tighter, but them leaves, man, it was so dang loud. And actually now I'm glad that I didn't, cause I kind of walked up there. Before I come out, I walked up there to where he was roosted, and the the canopy gets a little more open. So I think if I would have went another 50 yards, he'd been able to see me. So, um, I don't know what happened with him. He just right there at the end when I crawled up there and got you know got up against that tree, and he gobbled that last time. He was probably right at 100 yards, maybe a little bit less. He's probably less than 100. Um, and he was down, just down over a, just a little slope. I was kind of, I was kind of side hilling him, but uh, about to run out of battery. Um, I was kind of side hilling him and he gobbled, but I don't know. He just didn't want to, I crawled up there thinking maybe if I get just close enough, he'll kind of come and just peek over the top. But he didn't want to do that. I think that old boy right there has done played the game a, a few times. He definitely don't act like no young turkey. Uh, and that's the only reason I took off and, you know, kind of went to him because he actually started gobbling at me. That's, I was doing just real soft stuff, letting him know there was a hen in the area, but he wasn't gobbling at me none. And then after he done flew down, some coyotes got to going, and every time they'd howl, he'd gobble at them. And so I waited a little while, and he ended up kind of going to my right. I started calling to him then, and he started gobbling at me. So that's why, that's when I finally decided to jump up and go toward him. But he just didn't want, he didn't want to take that peak. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with him though. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get him. I think he's gonna still be there. He's not spooked. He's deaf, because I stood up right there before I got up, went, walked out. I stood up to look down the hill where he was, and I still, like, I know where he was, and I still couldn't see where he was at, so it was still too much of a drop for him to, uh, for him to be able to see up there where I was. So, we're gonna keep trying him. Hit the like button, subscribe. And I'm going to go to work. Hope y'all enjoy. We'll see y'all next time.